Hello everyone, I'm K.M. Wyland, and I'm going to show you how to do some cool things in my Outlining Your Novel Workbook computer program, which is based on my books of the same name. So what I'm going to show you this video is just really quick how to kind of navigate through the program since it's a little different from most word processors in that it's not a bunch of pages that you scroll through or like kind of in Scrivener a side column of uh, files and folders that you click through. Instead in our program what you do is you access the different fields and forms um, through these section headers up at the top. Each section header corresponds with one of the chapters in the book form of outlining your novel workbook. So if you're familiar with that book, you can kind of use that as um, a guideline and a way to switch back and forth if you're wanting to do some of your outlines on the computer and some of your outlines um, by hand in the book. So to access the different screens, what you do is you first click on one of these headers and then you'll find the various sub fields that you can then fill out as you're using your outline. So under premise the first thing we have is questions which is this page we're on here. So we're going to go to a different page so you can see how that works. So the second page is the two sentence premise. We click on that and we find that we've got several different pages within this page as well. So you'll see there's tabs up at the top that you can scroll through. So that'll be featured on some of the pages on um, such as this one is also one and then on others there'll be you'll see these little buttons these um, circle um, things down at the bottom and if you see that it means that there's there's more pages within just this section so more pages within the just the big moments section so if we click on that we get ta we're taken to the second page and we can also use these arrows on the sides to scroll back and forth so this is separate these two pages within this section are separate from this section which also you can see has its own little radio buttons that you can use either clicking on them or scrolling through here at the bottom. So as you can see there's a lot of different kinds of things that you can do within the program and there's just there's so much packed in here that I want to make sure that you're seeing all the different places where you can find new information. So be sure to check the tabs and the radio buttons to make sure that you're getting all of the good stuff out of the program and all that it offers for helping you flesh out your outline.